Okay, correct answer is A, zero. Okay. All right. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, Mike has the answer already. Yeah, that would prove. But, otherwise, I was going to do Yeah, I know, but he's still going to Yeah. Oh. Easy, what are you doing, I man? I thought we were on the edge. I was like, why is everyone getting zero? <laughs> <laughs> why are you getting zero? You see that thing in your hands? What? Flip it upside down. <laughs> no, give it to me. <laughs> okay, flip it face down. I'm confiscated. Or do that. Wait, why? Wait, wait. Because if you no. didn't even realize that we were at the center for the last question, you're paying not enough attention. Okay. Shouldn't this still be accessed here? What? All right. So, truth be known, it is still zero. What? Oh, can I just Sure. Do a little drawing. Okay. I want to demonstrate this because I think this is cool, even though this could be wrong. Okay. <laughs> because that's hey, the but like this stuff, all this stuff is really close, right? Okay. Yeah. So, but it's less. It's, 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 it's like it's pulling. It's pulling, but it's pulling really hard. Her. But there's a lot more stuff over here. So even though it's further away, it's all pulling. It's all pulling. <laughs> so it cancels it out. I think. I don't know. <laughs> is it? That's a good equation. But that, but just that doesn't. Okay, so very, very yes. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do that. A similar approach to that. So a little bit more geometry. So like a cone of that. Okay, transcribing that same angle to this cone here. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. The mass, the mass of this is closer, but it's less. The, yeah, this same area gives the same force, and so they cancel each other out. Okay. So I know that's kind of a weak explanation, but. Um, Anytime you're in a hollow planet, regardless of where you're at. Next, next time, I'll let you, how do we bypass the whole like formula we just derived to say like, okay, but the radius is positive now as with everything else, right? Because if if the force of gravity from a hollow shell is negative g, it's from the outside. It, yeah, the it, outside that that only, it only applies on the outside. Yeah, on the inside it's always zero. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think there's a like you can look up a Wiki, the Wikipedia page for inside a shell, and you'll get the same same thing, and the conclusion is zero. You can actually, you can re you can redo the you'd have to redo a bunch of the integral, but you could redo the integral and yes. and, and, and have it the oh. inside. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at me. <laughs> I was, I was so prepared that I didn't even know I was prepared. All right, so here's the, so inside um, is zero. So the, the lame part of, oh, no, 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 we didn't do lame. Okay, good. Because I was like, oh, the mass is like right there. I know that's zero. Um, so. We got the same setup as we did here, I think. Yeah. 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 Same setup. Oop. same setup. Good. So we're just going from the inside, so it's like a point on the inside here. And what is different? Up at the the limits of integration are slightly modified. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Good. I, I did. I did because I've asked that question before. <laughs> what is different? <laughs>
because it's really equal to zero. <laughs> 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 all right so everybody good so there's there's the hardcore map now <laughs> Are you telling me that they've been coming wrong my whole life? It's a whole thing. So no air resistance. We're assuming no air resistance. Yep, you're dropping it from the surface. And you got a you got a shaft that's protected by lava. It's not going to incinerate. You just Really just, just make it a black hole so that we, so that we don't have to worry about things getting. So that we don't have to black hole. Yeah. Yeah. I know where the It's the same way in this environment. Roasted. Watch out. That is extreme. Sorry. Talk to your neighbor. Keep going forever. We just can't get past the idea of down. All right, we got the universe as Looney Tunes. <laughs> Okay, correct answer is C. Correct answer. Okay. You could look at it in terms of energy. You could also look at it in terms of force. So. All right. So. This. All right. That's fine. You, you, you. Bye, Daniel. Whoa. Lock him out. 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 Lock him you, you see Brian at all? Today? Yeah. No. I'm sure. Did you ever he, see Brian? I'm sure he already knows. How do you think he knows? Because he's good friends with Aaron. Then Ask Aaron. Just text Brian, I, will you? So okay. let's go on. Okay. I'm just no, no, you're good. <laughs> yeah, go over. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is no, this is definitely noteworthy. This is definitely on the AP exam. Okay. So. So what we're gonna what we're gonna do is we are going to look at we're gonna try to come up with a function of gravity with respects to or at, dependent upon the distance you are from the center. Okay. Inside the earth. Inside the earth. Okay, so as we're falling, does the gravity stay constant? No. It's not a shell. It's a solid sphere. Minus the shaft of. It is. All right. Say what? All right. So. Here. Here's the deal. 
the force of gravity, the force of gravity that this part of the earth or the planet exerts on this rock is zero because it's inside the hollow part of this. Like pretending this is hollowed out. Which part is hollowed? Pretend, pre oh, for, okay. for the argument's sake, that dark orange doesn't exist. The net force, net gravitational force from everything above this, above this is zero. So the only thing that exerts force of gravity is this planet in the dark orange. Wait, why can we pretend that that's hollowed out? We're separated into two parts. We know that this part is a hollow shell. doesn't exert force. So we don't have to worry about all this stuff. We just worry about the part of the dark orange that is solid. Okay? So, so as this falls, essentially we have this smaller and smaller planet with less and less mass. We're going to assume uniform density. Okay, so which is as as complicated as we're going to go. Uh, no, they could give you they could give you an expression of density. That's that is a thing. So so density. This is uniform volumetric density, surface area density. I mean, this is just straight up density. So mass over volume. So we have the total mass over four thirds pi r cubed. I don't think you want to use Never mind. No, that's great. Okay. Good with that. And this is the whole Earth. And then you have the mass of the little planet. And the mass of the dark orange planet. Four thirds pi r, lowercase r, cubed. You okay with that? Yep. Ooh, let me let me modify this. I don't like that. So gravity equals. <laughs> okay, so script M is going to be the mass of the rock. Okay. Lowercase m is the mass of the orange. Over R squared. So of the earth. I don't know. Yeah, that's the end of the R, and then. Yeah, I know you did. You came home and you were like, the audacity of these guys here another orange. <laughs> 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 She's not happy. <laughs> okay, so this is the mass of the dark orange. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm at, I'm actually losing 4.0 to a class that actually matters. How does that equal the mass? Do you lose it to a class that doesn't matter? Yeah, I lost it to an orange class. Of the dark orange? Which one? Oh. <laughs> We're good with that, not the rocks. Yeah, I surprised you might have been the rocks. All right, so we've got. G 
Um, The class, but nobody's gotten less than an A on it. Um, first off, you haven't even had a, a whole semester of that class, so you can technically get a twenty thousand. Okay, is everybody good with that? All right. Now we're simplifying some stuff, so we end up with G, mass of the rock, mass of the earth. Oh my gosh. Mass of the Earth over the radius of the Earth times the radius, the distance from the center. Okay, so that is an expression for the gravitational force. And when lowercase r is larger than capital R, then this doesn't work. Yes, because then it just jumps straight away to the force of gravity. Yeah. Okay. So as to evaluate this, <clears throat> when we're at the surface of the Earth, this just becomes capital R squared, as we would expect. And then when we're at the center, this becomes zero. So the, the net force at the center is zero. Is the cursive M, is that the mass of the part? That is, the cursive M is the mass of the oh, rock. The of the rock. Okay. Yep. Bless you. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Remember this. We're going to use this here momentarily. Good job. <laughs> Okay, we have a hypothesis. Here we go. Going into the center of the Earth. Okay, so when we do gravitational potential energy, we need to start where gravitational potential energy is zero. Like when we do this, this, um, Gravitational potential energy. <laughs> okay. So, what we're going to do is, uh, let's see, how do I want to introduce this? So, we want this. as a function of the radius going from starting infinitely far away and going to some internal r that's a okay problem is the equation that defines the force of gravity changes as we go from outside the planet to inside the planet. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I, I want you to, I want, this is a really important point. The equation that describes gravity is not consistent from infinity to where we're going. Okay, the function of gravity, the gravity is a function of position changes the function itself is not consistent, okay? It, 
it's good. There's a certain point where it goes infinity to the surface is one expression. And then going from the surface inward is a whole nother expression. So here's how we handle that. We're just summing this, right? We're just adding this. Okay. So the way we handle that is this. We go from infinity to the radius of the earth. Okay. Um, and then we're adding a negative from the radius of the earth to R. That's how we handle that. And we're just, we're adding those together. Okay. So we've got, um, G M script M over R squared dr. Okay, and that's 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 also a negative because the force is going towards the center of the circle or center of the planet. Okay, and then here we have negative G M M over R cubed R dr. You all right with that? Core. Great question. So this is a this is a vector thing. Um, so this, if we if we make if we make this the origin, going away from the origin is positive. Going towards towards the origin is negative. It's like the force of gravity is negative because it's always pulling it in this way. On yeah, the force of gravity on the object. It is. So why this will end up being positive when we when we evaluate the integral. The so 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 the, the direction of the force of gravity is directed yeah. this way. Like if we, I'll just do it on the x-axis, it's directed this way. So that's a negative force. The direction the direction of it is. Okay. And we are integrating from this point to this point. When we evaluate that, this this value will end up being positive. But you have to include this negative, the direction of this vector, to make that work out. At the end of the day, here's, here's what you do on an AP test. Forget the positive or negative signs, and then just add what you know is supposed to be at the end of the day. Gotcha. That's why I do it anyway. I know. <laughs> okay, but that's technically why. Okay. All right, so... We know what this expression gives us. This expression, when we're evaluating it, gives us negative G M M over R. No, R, R of the earth. Yes, I should. Thank you. So that people don't wonder yep. where that variable came from. Yep, good call. Okay, good with that. Wait, that's the answer of that? Yeah, sorry, I lied. This will end up being negative. <laughs> but it, does, it won't be because those are positive. Oh, because you're integrating from backwards. Yep. Yep. So we're going finally. Oh, sorry, I went back. Okay, we we did this we 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 did this earlier like earlier this week. 
and I just don't want to run out of time because this is a all right so plus so I'm looking at this now GM M over R cubed of is everybody okay? I'm just going to integrate R, GR. Everything else is constant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So one half R squared from radius of the Earth to our location inside the planet. GM over R E plus GM because capital R is undefined. Everywhere else it's just R E M. Oh. Yeah, because because that capital R in that integral is the radius of your object. So this is R E. It's just not written itself. So. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so um, that's a two. That's a R E cubed times R E squared. So that knocks that out. Okay. Minus. Oh no, I did. Yep. Yeah, sorry. Good call. I did that backwards. Ah, God. Minus. G M M over two. Nope. Squared. Okay. So I I did I did final. Minus initial. Okay. Wouldn't it look a lot simpler if you just factored out all the G's and M's? And sure. I'm just trying to, yeah. Okay. Okay. So this just becomes right here. You see how this is just one half G M yeah. script M R radius of the earth. I'm just subtracting this from this. No, not subtracting. I'm adding a negative. This is a negative. Okay, this is a half. This is a whole. So we get three halves. Okay. And then that guy. Gets me. So I got equals, I'm looking at this, G, M, script, M, two, R, E, I hope I got this right, I squared minus three halves, G, M, script, M, over, R, E. In a, in, the, in, a, in a specific case from the previous question involving being at the center. Right. So I think that's, I think that'll work. All right. So I think it's going to be on the next slide. 
I get it? Yeah. Solid. All right. It's always good. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But but do you see how do you see how I did this? Yeah. The whole strategy makes sense. Okay. This same thing we're gonna be doing when we get to static electricity. Like this this is this is in the realm of stuff that you need to reproduce. <laughs> yeah. Evaluate what? I don't know that label. Uh, it's the weird integral sign with the circle in the middle. Yes. Oh no. Awesome. Uh, sort of. Not really. Yes, you have an understanding, but not actually doing it. Okay, so then why is it on? So then why is one of those on the equation sheet? Because my calculator doesn't have anything to that. I know. All right, so so let's evaluate this, where the radius of the Earth, so the radius is equal to the radius of the Earth. So when that's the radius of the Earth, this becomes just one radius. So it becomes just one half minus three halves. You get one, negative one, which is, should be. Okay. And then when the R is zero, this goes away. So our expression for how much, what's the gravitational potential energy when you're at the center of the Earth? Is negative three halves this? That's such a dumb answer. It is a dumb answer, but <laughs> it's not. It's it's not conceptual. Like, it's definitely not zero. And and it's not because because zero is when we're infinitely far away. It's not infinity. It's something finite. Okay, it's that expression there. Okay, so if we are graphing this, last slide. Boom. If we are graphing this as a function of position, and I'm going to take the absolute value of the force of gravity. Not looking at direction, just the mag sorry. Yeah, just the magnitude. Here, it just it's a linear progression because this is um, gravity is proportional to R. And then after you get outside the planet, it does the inverse square law where it is proportional to 1 over x or r squared. Yeah, it's just the magnitude of it. Okay. And then gravitational potential energy, based on this, what we just did, is r squared. So you, you start with this. This is not going to be this is not going to be the absolute value. You start with negative three halves g m m over r capital. Oh, capital R. Yes, thank you. Okay, and then that does a squared thing. Where you subtract it like if this is zero. Oh, yeah. Okay. And that's going to do uh, uh, and then it does that. that. That is not to scale, but, but then it does. The, there's a point of inflection right there as it goes from. Well, I see you guys write. Oh no, that sounds easy. I see you guys write <laughs> stuff on the blackboard. And I'm like, are you guys? Are you guys in like some movie? Are you getting up there in math? Or special? Could you get that up there? Probably do it. It's just a lot of numbers or a lot of letters, man. Yeah. You do that. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Made it. All right, so all the mastering you can do that has to do with gravity.
do it. What? Simple harmonic motion.